all there is the Bible said that we are in this world but you are not of this world come on somebody I'm asking you to stop on tonight come on come on come on you are in this world but you are not of this world you were born again of a kingdom that is not of this world come on someone amen, amen. and he's saying but seek ye the business seek ye the job seek ye the mighty dollars and sins the kingdom are we still here? Yeah. He's saying the first thing as a child of God, as you are born again in the kingdom of God, he is saying the first thing that we got to do is seek the kingdom, is running after the kingdom, is running after Jesus, is looking for the prophet that will take. The thing that is eternal, the thing that God considers to be first, not religion. Really Many people are running after religion, not religion. He's saying, seek the kingdom first. They put your hands on my beautiful wife. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He said, all these things you've been looking for. What you've been looking for that you couldn't find? You couldn't find peace. Amen. All these things you're looking for, you don't have real joy. Amen. Your home is in a mess. Amen. It's in our part, the children, Amen. the wife, the husband, the chaos life. Come on, somebody. It's in a mess. Because we don't know about your kingdom that God has given to you. Come on, somebody. Amen. This is the challenge for your new year. I so said, this is the challenge for this new year coming. Amen. Amen. We are closing the old, going into the new. And it's time to get busy for the kingdom of God. It's time to seek the kingdom. It's time to seek to find the real Jesus. Come on, somebody. Amen. What you're having is not real. You know it's not real. Because it's not working for you. Come on, somebody. Real things work. Amen. I said, real things work. Come on, somebody. Amen. Is that all right? So you want to read Jesus? It's all by the Spirit of God. Seek after the Spirit. You will surely find God is going to reveal Himself. The power, the authority of the kingdom. So I just want to close with a song. One day at a time. Sweet Jesus. Is that all right? One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking of you. Somebody pray Just give me the strength to do everything what I have to do. Now yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be done. Somebody. Thank you.
and we know that you all are doing a great job here in Sanigandi. And I just want to say that I love you very much, and I hope that this will continue, and it's a great work for the Lord. Amen? Amen. Thank you very much, Mr. Sally. Put your hands, Mr. Sally. A wonderful woman who has served in the Lord again. She has given a place that you can come and worship and praise the Lord. And it's so good when someone can have a heart to give generously on the business. Is that all right? Your blessing is sure. We want to stand tonight if you want to put our tithes and offering tonight. Amen. We ask our church to come forward. Praise God. We don't want to forget the Christmas season. Amen. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. You can come right up tonight. Put your tithes, bring all the tithes. Feliz Navidad, Prospero and Nui Felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero and Nui Felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. From the bottom of my heart. Feliz Navidad, oh. Feliz Navidad, praise. Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. From the bottom of my heart. From my wife's heart to him. I said from my wife's heart to Feliz Navidad and the prophet too. Come on, give the Lord a good clap for it tonight. Hallelujah! Praise him, praise him, praise him. You want to bless tonight's offering, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray your blessing would be upon each hand that give tonight. Even their home, remember, Lord, their children. Yes, the environment that they live in. Right now. Let all evil be driven out. The darkness be driven out. That souls might be saved. That the people might come to know you. Amen. Whom to know is life eternal. Amen. For tonight as a soul in your kingdom. Let the blessing of the Lord make rich. And have no sorrow. Rest and abide upon them. And everybody say. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Okay. Thank you Lord. Well I believe. I believe you have a good time in the presence of the Lord. I can feel the presence of God here tonight. And I believe there's lots more for you in store. Amen. So, what we want to do, understand in honor. The word of God said to give honor to honor is due. I want you to stretch your hands towards Prophet Julius as he comes and say, Use him, Lord. Say, Use him, Lord. Say, Use him, Lord. Now give the Lord a good clap off and God bless him as he comes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise him. Give God some praise tonight, church. Come on, we're getting better at tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody call him by his name tonight. Call him by his name tonight. Come on. Lift your hand and shout the Lord with a voice of psalm. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. The Bible says, some to the fires, some to the waters, some to the floods, but all go to the blood of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. And who the Lord from the hands of the enemy. For men who are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb tonight. Come on and give him some praise tonight. Give him some glory. Give him some honor. Lift those hands and wave and wave and wave and wave and wave it under the Lord. Wave it under the Lord. Most high. For there is more than name. Give it under him. Whereby men shall be saved at the name of Jesus. Let me go from his presence. 
heavens. No way. The son of David is there. I go to the heavens. He is there. If I'm the earth, he is there. If I'm under the earth, he is there. There's no way we can hide from his presence. He's up the person. King of kings. Lord of lords. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Oh, hallelujah. Be seated in his presence tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Let's turn our Bible to the first book of Corinthians as we go into communion service tonight. As you all know, this is our last service in San Grande for this year. Amen. And uh, hallelujah. All the members of San Grande, we want to see you in our earliest night service or earliest evening service. We want to start half five. Amen, somebody. Ten times our earliest evening service, half past five. Very important of going to the new year with God's blessing. Amen, somebody. Leaving the old things behind and pressing towards new and greater things, towards the destiny that God has called you to. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. It's our covenant service, our communion service. It's where we pray for everyone. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Service will be resumed in San the Grande on the seventh of January 2019. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. When will service open back in San the Grande? On the seventh. On the seventh of what? January 2019. Amen. 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 So this week is our closing off of all services, all branches, and even the main branch on Saturday. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Until all years. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. So we might not be in the house of God, but we will be in God's presence every day. Amen, somebody. Amen. Remember, the reason of this season is that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe on him should not perish but shall have everlasting life. For as many as receive him, to them he gave power. What he gave you? Power to become. Amen, somebody. So it means it's a daily walk. We are struggling day to day. But God has given us what? Power to become the sons of God. To walk on water. To be overcomers and conquerors. Amen. Look at your feet and say, devil, get under my feet where you belong. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, look at your feet and say, devil, in the mighty in the name of Jesus Christ, get under my feet. May it belong the Bible that by the seed of a woman shall bruise the serpent head. I say, your prophet sight that unto us a child is born, a child is given. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Prince of Peace, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. But the angel Gabriel appeared on the he said, Mary, thou hast found favor in the eyes of God. He said, Blessed are thee amongst women, Mary, for thou hast been a chosen vessel to bring forth the Son of God. For the Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and not a holy thing that shall be within you shall be called. Jesus was born on the 25th of December. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. That, uh, amen, somebody. Amen. That uh, Santa Claus, amen. better known as Saint Nicholas, Nicholas 
Amen. was born Amen. on the 25th. Amen. Amen. Of December. But I'm not going to argue that point. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. Through history, many people try to find the date that the Son of God was born. Amen, somebody. Amen. Some people try to analyze and get down to the month. Some say it's October. Some say it's September. Amen, Amen. somebody. Some say, Amen, somebody. They try to narrow it down as close as they can. Amen, Amen. somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Yes, we know. Amen. If you want to know the truth, we know that Jesus Christ was not born on the 25th of December. Amen. But the fact that he was born is what we are celebrating. Amen, somebody. That's the fact. That he was born. Amen. So it doesn't matter the day. They can put it the first of April. They can put it in the month of January. It doesn't matter to me. We are celebrating that the Son of God was born. That God the Father sent his only begotten Son. Amen. And whosoever shall believe on him, the same shall be saved. The Bible said that when he was born, that angel held. Amen. Somebody is coming into the world. They begin to go into the fields and begin to sing about the baby in a manger that was born. Amen. Somebody. If they could have celebrated this birth, then what about you and I? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. All found tonight in the first book of Corinthians, Hallelujah. chapter 11. Amen, somebody. Amen. And verses 22. Amen, somebody. If God could have put up a star to mark his coming. Amen. And have three wise men follow it. Amen. Amen. A matter of fact, they, 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 they knew that he was a king that was being born. Amen. But they didn't know what type of king he was. Amen. He is and he was the king of okay. kings and the lord of lords. Amen, Amen. somebody. Tell your neighbor say he was, he was and he still is the king of kings and the lord of lords. So they went to heaven and said, is, a, is there a king that has been born here? Amen, somebody. And heaven and immediately they recognized that something wasn't right with heaven and they did not release sufficient info information. They understood immediately that God hid the child. Amen. Because according to the prophecy of Jeremiah Amen somebody. Amen. That at that time all the firstborn of Israel killed. would be killed. Amen. And there will be much weeping in the land. Amen. Because they knew a great king was about to be born. Amen. But they didn't know who was that great king Amen. that was coming on the earth? Amen. King of kings. Say there was a king of kings. King of kings. King of kings. King of kings. Lord of lords. King of kings. Lord of lords. God of all gods. He is the supreme being who exists of himself. There is but only one God. There is only but one name given under heaven. But by men shall be saved. What does that mean tonight? Son. 
Amen, somebody. He said he reveals his name to his son. If you don't believe me, read the book of St. John chapter 70 when you go home. And Jesus was praying that Father, I have established thy name on the earth. Many people sent forth and said, and Jesus said, baptizing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And they always miss the most vital part of the story, of the scripture. He said, go in my name. Jesus. Amen. What he said? In Matthew chapter 28, go in my name, baptizing them Amen. in the name of the Father. In the name, so that he said that the Father has a name. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen, so much. To demonstrate it, illustrate it, we got to look at the scriptures objectively and stop following the, the, the philosophies of men. Amen, somebody. Come, better Perry. Come, better Perry. Amen, somebody. So, if I'm speaking to better Perry, amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. I am, I'm telling better Perry, I said, go and baptize in the name of my father, in the name of the son. In the name of the Holy Spirit, I'm sending Brother Perry with the name of my Father, Amen. with the name of the Son, because the Son will carry the Father's, Father's title. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. The Son will carry the Father's title, the Son will carry the Father's name. Amen. And if that is my spirit, Amen. it will carry my name. Amen. And many preachers baptize them in, uh, in titles, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. If Brother Perry is a father, if, if Brother Perry has a son, he inherits the title of father, father. because he has a son. Amen. Come on, somebody. In the Old Testament, amen, somebody. We were not known unto God as his sons. Amen. Somebody get quiet. Amen. In the Old Testament, we were divided from God. Amen. We were under the rule of Satan. Amen. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Our father is the father of lies, devil, the Beelzebub, the wicked one, the evil one, whatever you want to call it. In the New Testament, when the precious blood of Jesus was shed and we were born again of the spirit and of the word, we inherited the title as son. Therefore, we inherited our father's name. That's right. The book of Romans, the Bible said in chapter 5, and the Holy Ghost uh, comes within our hearts uh, and says the love of God uh, that we are no longer servants but sons, uh, and it cries out, What? Abba, Abba Father. Father. And the word Abba means my Father, in which the Old Testament we could not say that God was our Father. Amen. Amen. Because we were separated from God. And the Spirit of God did not live within men, it rested upon men. It did not live within men, it rested upon men. So that's why when Jesus died, he said, It is finished, and the earth began to shake. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. And paradise, which was in the bowels of the earth, was moved and went up. Amen, somebody. In the heavens. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? And the veils of the temple rent. The veils of the temple re represented the separation between God and man. Represented every believer that is now born again of the Spirit and the Word of God. That veil is removed. And we have full communication and access into the throne of grace. And I can end up boldly by the blood of Jesus as a son and as a daughter of God. That's why Paul wrote, he said, written no longer in tablets of stone. Amen. Speaking about the Old Testament, where God write his words, his commandments upon tablets of stone and gave it to Moses. He 
he said, but now in this time, through the blood of Jesus, it is written upon our hearts by the spirit of the living God. Amen, somebody. Amen. We shall be called the sons and the daughters of God. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Yeah, you understand what I'm telling you? Amen. We have so much to honor Jesus for. Amen. And to praise Jesus for because he's living in us. In us. Today we say, Jesus is living in me. And if you don't have him, open the door and let him in. He said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man will open the door, I will come in and I will shop with him and I will lead him. What do you do? I will lead him into green pastures. Yes. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Come on, give God some praise. Amen. So that the apostles did not baptize in the name of the Father, Son, or Holy Ghost. Amen. Because they understood these to be titles. Amen. And they understood that God the Father has a name. Amen. And that the Son carried the name of the Father. Amen. And the spirit of the Father carried the name as well. Amen. And the name that he established by the mouth of the angel Gabriel was the name Jesus. Amen. And when he sent his disciples forth to pray and cast out devils, they prayed and cast out devils in the name of Jesus. So I don't know if these preachers today are greater than the apostles. Amen who are claiming to baptize and there's only Father, Son, and Holy Ghost to baptize. And then the doctrine comes and there are three distinct personalities of one God. Amen. So they are saying that my God is a lunatic because anybody that have more, more than one, one personality, personality, they put them in the madhouse. Amen. Come on, right. Amen. Anybody have more, more than one personality? Anybody here? And then they bring up the, the doctrine, the Holy Trinity. I want you to know that the Holy Trinity is not found in Scripture. No one. There is not a, one word that says Holy Trinity in the Holy Bible. Amen. It's neither in Greek nor in English in your Bible. Amen. There's no scripture that says that God is three distinct separated, and separated personalities of one God. Amen. So your Bible, you will not find that. Amen. The scripture that they use, they add to it. And the Bible says, who is the man who will add take or take away from the scripture? Amen. The scripture that they use is in the book of 1 John, as you will read in, in chapter 4. Amen, somebody. And he said, they are treated bear witness in the heavens, which is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And he said, and these three, they oh, are one. one. He didn't say these three have distinct separated personalities. Amen. He said, these three are one. He said, Hear he will use well for I, the Lord, thy God, am one God. So preach it as it is written. Do not come and add your own interpretation of philosophy to the scripture. He said, And these three are one. He then said, These three are the Holy Trinity. And these three are the distinct. <laughs> Amen, somebody here. Separated personalities of our one God. Amen. If you don't understand the mystery of the Godhead, you leave it alone. Amen. But don't leave masses astray Amen. by your philosophy and say it's a revelation. The Bible calls it a mystery. You can write it down. First Timothy chapter 3, verses 16. He said, Great is the mystery of godliness that God was made manifested in the flesh. Amen. And those that know the things of the Spirit understand the mystery. And God was made manifested in the flesh. And he said he was seen of angels. The angels bear witness unto it. The Holy Ghost justified it. Because the world needed a Savior. He preached unto Gentiles. And he was received back in glory. Amen. And he is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
That's why it's a mystery. Amen. The body of the Christ Amen. is seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us. Because that body represents our atonement. Amen. It represents our redemption. Amen. It represents our resurrection. It represents our transformation. That's why you will see that Satan came to argue for the body of Moses. Amen. And God didn't give him it because the body of Moses represented the covenant that God gave to them at that time. So God did not give Satan that body. Amen. Amen. Satan had all rights to claim it. Amen. Because it was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. But it spent so much time in God. Amen. Being used as a vessel of God, Satan could claim it. Amen. God sent the Michael Archangel and said, The Lord rebuked it. Tell him that Satan cannot claim your life. Go and better pray. He cannot, he cannot claim the life of your children. He cannot claim your health. He cannot claim your peace. He cannot claim your joy. Amen. If you know the law of God, if you know the law of the spirit of life. Amen. The book of Romans chapter 8, he said, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Amen, somebody. For the law of the spirit. Amen, somebody. It's in righteousness. Amen, somebody. Which brings forth life. Amen, somebody. Which destroys the law of sin and death in our lives. Amen. 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 This is what our communion is about. Amen. Communion is about so much Amen. understanding all who Jesus is. Amen. The Apostle Paul cried out, one who wrote two thirds of the New Testament. Amen, somebody. One who raised many dead, who went to so much nations and preached and mighty miracles and signs and wonders followed him. Amen. And ambassador to, unto Jesus, a chief apostle unto the Gentile nation. And yet still he cried out that I might know who Jesus really is and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. Amen, somebody. Amen. He cried out, I might know him. Then the neighbor said, I want to I know want this to Jesus. Know. I want to know the power uh, of his resurrection, the power that raised him from the dead, the power that sent him unto the spirits in prisons, send him in the Hades, send him in the hell, whom the prince of parties and powers made an open show of them. Rose triumphantly on the third day. Look at his disciples and all that have followed him and said, Because I have overcome, you shall overcome also. So the neighbor said, I do not know what you are facing, what you are going through, what battles, what distress, what sickness, what disease, what. He said, he that believe it not is already condemned. That's right. Amen. Amen. You, we don't have a, a need for any preacher to condemn us. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible said, 
He that believeth not. Is already condemned. Who is a believer? A believer is one who keeps the faith. A believer is one who endures. Amen. Jesus said, when I come, will I find faith. And the Lord said, believer is one who keeps his faith. Amen. He keeps his faith. You see a Hindu on the road, you can tell that's a Hindu. Amen. You can tell them, you can tell by the charm, by the God, by the thicker on the forehead. Amen. You see a Muslim, you can tell they are Muslim. Amen. But believers today, Christians, who say they are followers of Jesus Christ, you cannot tell. Because they are not hot and they are not cold. They are lukewarm. They are afraid to preach the gospel of Jesus. They are afraid to proclaim it. And their life is not testifying or being a witness. Amen, somebody. Unto who they are. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen. 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 So he said, when I come, will I find faith on this earth? And then he went on to he that will endure till the end, the same shall be Save. saved. Amen. So a believer is one who keeps his or her faith Amen. and is able to endure till the end. Amen. They're able to do what? Endure. Endure till the end. And the Bible says, he that endure till the end of what? The same shall be saved. saved. So the secret to your deliverance is to endure through your battles. Is to endure through your hurt. Is to endure through your pain. Amen. Whether it's a pastor that deceives you, Amen. whether it's a brother that deceives you, Amen. whether it's a sister that deceives you, Amen. whether it's a loved one that deceives you. Amen. Remember, Amen. you're not serving your pastor, you're not serving Amen. your brother or your sister. You are Amen. serving God and you are Amen. looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. You're not looking unto no one, but unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Listen, we have to read the, from verses 23. And the apostle 45 received the Lord, that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given time, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner also he took the cup. And when he had stopped saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This too as often as he drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as he eat this bread and drink this cup, he do show the Lord's death until he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eat it and drink it unworthily eat it and drink it damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. If we would do what? Judge ourselves. What God want to do? Judge ourselves. Look at ourselves. Look at our heart. Be honest. See ourselves, our failures, our shortcomings. Correct it. Ask for help. Amen, someone, because he loves you and he wants to deliver you and he wants to set you free. The wish of Jesus was, he said, I wish that none will perish, but that all will come to eternal life. Amen somebody. But when we are judged, but when we are judged, because we are not judged ourselves, amen somebody. When we are judged, we are chasing of the Lord, and we should not be condemned in the world. So when we are judged, number one, because we have not judged ourselves, we have not correct our ways. But when we are judged, we are chasing the Lord, because God loves us like, like your little children, your, your sons and your daughters, you, you correct them because you love them. You force them to study, to put 
with them out of TV and out of the media, out of YouTube and WhatsApp and Facebook. You're banned from this and that. You correct them because you want what is the best for them. You stop them. Amen, somebody. And that is the chastening of the Lord. He comes after you. Amen. So the Bible says, despise not the, the chastening of the Lord. Some children, the more you chastise them, they the get immune to it. Yeah. It has some children who are to name and somebody. I see uh, Tanti, Mommy, Uncle, Daddy, cutting it till they're feeling it. <laughs> and uh, that's the spirit of King and walking in the children of, the, of disobedience. And then God whipping us left, right, front, center. Amen. Nothing happening and we still in turn into God. We get in more hard. We become we become worse. Instead of we get better, we get what? Nice. We get we get our what? Bitter. Amen. I like that that one message of preach. Instead of we get better, we yes. get bitter yes. with God. We get bitter with, with people and friends and family and the churches. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. But we are in the Bible that those he loved, he will chase and he will be with many stripes. That's like you will, amen, go after your daughter, your child. You see the income all the time, you tell them come on 10 o'clock and you're trying to call and then get you going to search your worry and amen, somebody. And if you catch them and they're wrong, they're wrong, you have a belt, you have a big stick for them. Amen. <laughs> You're fired. This is where you went. Don't get a new coming. The Bible said that we cannot run or hide from God. We have to deal with God. Amen. And even if you choose not to deal with Him in this life, yeah. you're going to deal with Him in another life. Amen. Preacher. You can't run from God. Amen. You can't hide from God. Preacher. Amen, somebody. Stay to them and say, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Whatever, whatever you are weak in, whatever you are failing, whatever you are coming short in, is, is not by your might, it's not by your power, it's by the Spirit said the Lord of hosts. And he said, if you will draw nigh unto me, I will draw nigh unto you. Keep drawing closer to God. And you say, keep drawing closer to God, and he will draw closer to you. Let's keep drawing, let's, let's keep walking, let's keep toasting, let's keep hungering, let's, amen, somebody. I believe there's one who struggles and holds on and doesn't give up and stands up every time Satan knocks him down he gets back up in and somehow he gets back up because he loves God and he wants to know with of God Jesus said hallelujah glory that the zeal of the Lord falls in his heart Amen. to do thy will of God Amen. Jeremiah said that the word of the Lord was in his heart like fire yeah. in his bones and he cannot keep it quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The ushers bring your communion tonight. As we lift up the Lord, so I'm ministering while I'm doing the communion tonight. To save time as the Holy Ghost is leading me. You can be healed tonight, you can be set free, you can be made whole. These signs shall follow them that believe. He that cometh to God must believe. Shut your hands tonight. This cup represents the blood of Jesus. The blood of the new covenant. The blood of the new testament. Written not by ink, but by the blood of Jesus Christ. This bread represents the body of the Lord. He said, I am the bread of life that came down from heaven. He that eateth of me shall never hunger. He that drinketh of me shall never thirst. God has been lifted up to you tonight. We pray that the anointing from heaven will come down tonight. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, that you are blessed. 
and bread and it shall represent your body and you will bless that wine and it will represent the blood of Jesus Christ and as we eat we will eat of your life as we drink we will drink of your life and what is the of God in our body in our blood in our fluid in our organs will be uprooted will be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost and fire in Jesus mighty name we bless it tonight. In Jesus' name. You can take this time and analyze your life. And make it right with God. But take up the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. Place it in your right hand and lift it to Jesus. Now the Bible said, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. And the Bible said, He said, Take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the body of the Son of God. That was broken for us. That was wounded for our transgressions. That was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are made whole. We receive it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's eat together tonight. Take this cup and put it in your right hand. Jesus told them, he said, this is the cup of the New Testament in my blood. When John saw him, he said, behold the Lamb of God that take it away the sins of the world. The sicknesses, the diseases, with his precious blood he has brought us back. He has redeemed us from the hands of the devil. He has delivered us and made us whole by the power of his spirits. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. As we drink tonight, we drink of your life. We drink of the blood of Jesus. The blood of the bleeding lamb that has been delivered. Satan, you are a liar. Release our lives tonight by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And say, God shall be for you. God shall be for you. Who shall? Be against you. And there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, 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 wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. I'm on the blood of the the blood of the bleeding lamb, power to save, just like the old of the blood of the No matter what the devil say, thank God the blood sing tonight. Oh, thank God, thank God for His cleansing blood. Thank God, thank God for His cleansing blood. Thank God. For his cleansing blood that I wash in white. Come on, show secret There is power, power, wonderful looking power in the blood, in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, 
what the world is how I feel the pressure Lord of the land Stand to your feet and I church Hallelujah Tonight we're going to pray with everyone We're going to lay hands upon everyone And I want to see everyone for all years night I want to see everyone at the opening Of our new year service Right here on the seventh Amen somebody Let's go into this new year with God Again, some people say, well, I don't have to go to church to serve God. The Holy Scriptures didn't say that. Amen. Yes, you are partly true. But the Scripture also said, forsake not the assembling of the saints, as many do. So you can't keep one part and do not keep an next. You've got to come in the entirety of the Word of God. Let's gather, let's come out. Let's seek the Lord together. Amen. And then in the month of January, we're going seven days, the whole church. Amen. Everyone is a part of the body. Amen. 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 Our solemn fast, our solemn assembly. Amen. Seven days of fasting and praying for the breaking of yokes and chains in our lives. To destroy the work of the devil, the plan of the devil in our homes, in our families, in our village, in our neighborhood, in our ministry. That God will move and release us and yokes. And I, and I bind you down within the old year. We might bind you down within the new year. That's the purpose of fasting. Amen, somebody. To break yokes and chains. Fasting is a tool of the spirit. Amen. 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 And so our church fast will start the third week in the, in the month of January. Amen, somebody. Amen. So I'm going to pray with everyone tonight. Make a line tonight. Make a line. And I want everyone praising God. I want everyone reaching out, crying out. Amen, somebody. Reaching out, crying out, believing. We are running a fast prayer line. That's this is about covenant service. We want to see God move. We want to see the power of the Holy Ghost come down in the splits. Fill the splits and fill the sanctuary. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, spirit of the living God, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, the devil is a liar, hallelujah, come on, the devil is a liar,
Come on, the little one. Let's go. 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 Let
Oh, the Lord. 